Stealth Black? Stealth Black, okay, Sanji finally used his raid suit, and we finally see what his, you know, German name is, it's Stealth Black, oh my god, and apparently he has the ability to turn invisible, he was versing page 1, so in the beginning of the chapter, this is 931, um, okay, before we do anything, let's just play the intro, because I literally can't even speak, I have to calm down a bit, so let's play the intro. <laughs> Okay, so I calmed down a bit, but Sanji used his Reitsu, okay? And his Reitsu is really cool. Probably my, by far my favorite Reitsu out of all the other German members, okay? It has that black gold appearance, uh, which is cool. We don't really see it, but there is kind of artwork out there of it already. So you can check it out. It looks really cool, okay? And he has the transparency ability that he's always wanted. He's always wanted to be invisible. And now he could finally do that. So we see him taking on page one, and he basically speed blitzes him. Like, it's nothing, okay? But page 1 does end up doing some damage towards Sanji, and now they are currently fighting. Uh, so I hope we do see more of the raid suit. And what's cool, he even said that he's going to ask Frankie and Usopp to modify it a bit. So he's probably going to get some mods on it. Uh, maybe, a, maybe a different look to it. It does look really cool right now. I, I don't want this design to change. I Maybe just like, you know, ability-wise it could change. Maybe, do, maybe even improve upon it. Because it does really look cool right now. So we move on to Robin, who's actually looking for Poneglyphs around, uh, apparently, uh... Orochi's, you know, palace or whatever it is, uh, and the Oniwabanshi, Oniwabanshi, I believe they're called, appear. They're just basically these seven ninjas, okay? And one of them is actually the girl that would play the violin or whatever that instrument is called. I don't know what it's exactly called, so don't hold me to that. And the curtains would close. One of those was that girl, okay? Uh, or I believe it was. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was. Um, and we see them catch Robin, and then this person comes who is the leader of the Oniwabanshi, and his name is Fukur... Fukuro Ju, okay, kind of hard to pronounce. It's a long name. I'm just gonna call him Fukuro. Uh, and basically, he says, You have one chance to explain yourself, explain yourself now, okay? And I've noticed something interesting about him. He has these long ears, and he reminds me of NL. So I'm wondering if he has any connection to NL. I don't think we'll be seeing NL in this arc at all, but that's that was kind of interesting. Um, then we cut to the final part, which is basically Momo, uh, Momonosuke and uh, Hiyori, and Chopper's with them too. And they end up stumbling against Big Mom, okay? And Big Mom's there just chilling at the shore, sleeping. But then we found out that she actually has deja vu, okay? We don't know what's wrong with her memory yet. We do know that she did get into a fight with King. Uh, it wasn't her alone. Obviously, her commanders were with her. But she did get into a fight with King, and now she has deja vu. She can't remember anything. So I'm wondering where this is going to go. Is she going to be fighting Kaido? Is she going to be working with Luffy? Uh, we're going to be seeing from here on out. Um, but yeah, this chapter was insane, okay? We have Sanji, Black Stealth. Pretty insane. Other than that, I'm the one straw hat. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one piece chapter.